So question number 79, which of the statement is incorrect? Coming to first one, enzymes of TCA, that is tricarboxylic acid cycle, that is Krebs cycle, are present in mitochondrial matrix. This is quite right. Glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm. This is also right. Oxidative phosphorylation takes place in outer mitochondrial membrane. It is not outer, it is inner mitochondrial membrane. So this is wrong. Glycolysis operates as long as it's applied with NAD. That's quite right. Now, in the glycolysis, you might be knowing about this step where 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde, it is changed into diphosphoglyceric acid. Now, at this step, dehydrogenation reaction occurs. One thing which occurs here, that is dehydrogenation reaction, removal of hydrogen is there. Now, this hydrogen which is removed, that is picked up by NAD+. So, NAD+, it picks two electron, one hydrogen ion, resulting in the formation of NADH. Right. So, NAD is very necessary, NAD plus is very necessary for glycolysis. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Now, coming to question number 80. Which of the following events does not occur in rough endoplasmic reticulum? Now, first one is protein folding. So, you know that in rough endoplasmic reticulum, this is cristae. Over the cristae, there is attachment of ribosomes. Yes, these ribosomes, they are involved in the synthesis of proteins. Yes, so protein is synthesized by the ribosome. Now, this protein which is synthesized, it has primary structure. It has sequence of amino acid, which is coded by the mRNA. So, it has a primary structure and you might be knowing this that the primary structure of protein is non-functional. So, to convert the non-functional form of protein into the functional form, what is going to happen? Protein folding will occur. Protein folding will change the primary structure into secondary and tertiary form which are functional form of protein. So, one is quite correct. Protein glycosylation, this is very important function of RER. Now, this protein which is being synthesized here, now this protein gets attached with the sugars. There is attachment of sugar to this protein. Yes, so attachment of sugars, attachment of oligosaccharides to the protein. This phenomena is known as glycosylation and it results in the formation of glycoprotein. You have to keep this in mind that glycosylation starts in RER but it is completed in Golgi bodies. Now, coming to phospholipid synthesis. Now, phospholipid synthesis, this is function of SCR. So, there is complete division of labor. RER is responsible for protein synthesis, modification and lipid and carbohydrate synthesis is done by SCR. Cleavage of signal polypeptide. Now, protein which is synthesized by the ribosome to the protein, there is attachment of small peptide chain. Yes, the small peptide chain later on it is cleaved with the help of peptidase enzyme, right? So, the function which is not related with the aria that is phospholipid synthesis, this is function of SCR. So, the right answer for this question is option number 3. So, let us move on to question number 81 now. Many ribosomes may associate with a single mRNA to form multiple copies of a polypeptide. A very simple question. Solution to this question is just like a piece of cake. Now, this type of condition is seen in bacteria. So, this is mRNA, right? To the mRNA, there is attachment of several ribosomes. These are ribosomes and ribosomes, they are involved in synthesis of protein, right? So, what do you call this structure as when several ribosomes they are attached to a single mRNA it is known as polysome or you can all simply call it as polyribosome. So, this is right answer here. Now, we can see other options also polyhedral bodies they are present in BGA and they have carbon dioxide fixation enzyme. So, they are no way involved in protein metabolism they are involved in carbon dioxide fixation. Nucleosome. DNA coiling is assisted with the help of histone protein and the subunit which is formed, the basic unit that is nucleosome plus tetodome 
all the plastids present in a cell represent plastidome. So right answer for this question is option number one. So now let's move on to the question number 82 now.